grab a friend, a life jacket, and get your paddles up. Recently, the 10th annual Gulf Coast International Dragon Boat Regatta took place, and SWN was there for all of the action. I spoke with Executive Director Eve Marie Ruhlman, and she gives us an inside stroke about the Gulf Coast International Dragon Boat Regatta. This is the 10th annual Gulf Coast International Dragon Boat Regatta. Dragon Boat Racing here in Houston actually got started in 2001 by the Chinese, Amer uh, Chinese, Chinese Lions Club. And uh, what we did was they were looking for something different to do and uh, they came abreast here and we got started. In the first race we only had three teams and about 40 spectators. The, the teams come from everywhere. We have the Korean American Society of Houston, we have the Vietnamese American Chamber of Commerce, we have the Young Filipino Professionals, and we actually have teams from the actual Netherlands. The KLM Dutch Dragon Boat team is here participating in this festival. Dragon Boat Racing is a special type of race that's done here. As you can see, it's a very long boat, 20 paddlers in it, 10 rows of two, a drummer, as well as a steersman, and they're all competing to try to get to the finish line as quick and as soon as possible. So you're interested in getting involved. It's actually quite easy. You can go to the Texas Dragon Boat website, which is texasdragonboat.com, and you can click on volunteer, or you can also click on paddler. And you can come out and just try it out for a while, but there's also year-round team options for you as well. We can introduce you and get you acquainted to a team that would work best for you. Now, if you're a company or a community team, if you kind of want to put something together, just shoot us an email, and we can happy to help your company put together a great team building opportunity, plus also something that works on cultural development and diversity. After a few trips around the lake, I was able to speak with some of the participants and get their take on the event. Uh, we're here for our second year to participate in this event. Uh, Team Skittles is made up of Dragon Boat and Outrigger Paddlers. Uh, we come together from 11 different teams and during the course of a weekend we make an effort to blend into one cohesive boat. Uh, we have a great group of paddlers that are out here. We've been uh, had a chance to paddle for about 45 minutes last night together, first time ever. Uh, saw some good parts and some bad parts. Uh, we'll be competing here in an effort to try to win this thing again, and it's not going to be easy. These teams here practice year-round. Uh, the big advantage there, they're cohesive units. We're, uh, we're not that way. And uh, we'll do our best to uh, give, give Texas a little bit of push and see if we can uh, do the best we can out there on the water. Our team is the Austin Coolers. We're from Austin, Texas. We've been around for five, five and a half years. This is our sixth time to the Houston regatta, uh, Gulf Coast Regatta. And I've been involved for three years. I was originally on the Samsung Dragons, a corporate team in Austin during the Austin Festival. And I became interested in a year-round team. The Austin Coolers are our local club team of Austin, and I decided to go year-long. I think it may be athletic in a, in a sense that paddling is a sport in itself, yeah, I know. but the fact that you're excited to meet people and unite as one person and a team is what makes the sport so great. There is no other sport I know that requires this much sync in a sport. So it doesn't take too much difficulty. It is the spirit of this competition that makes it so great. Some athleticism is involved, but learning synchronization is the key. In my opinion, as a coach also, synchronization trumps power. I am co-captain of a team called All Hands Abreast. We are a breast cancer survivor team. We have caregivers and survivors and friends. So uh, we all know that we wouldn't be here without our supporters and our friends. So therefore we welcome them to be able to participate with us. And we're out here celebrating life. There is life after cancer. For more information about the Gulf Coast International Dragon Boats Regatta, and how you can participate, log on to www.texasdragonboat.com. For Great American Pastimes, I'm Derek Hall.